Well, hello, my YouTube family. It's Monday. I would really like to know where the weekend went. Like, where did it go? Where did it go? Um, Saturday. Saturday. I have an issue with Saturdays. I have an issue with Saturdays. Because I do wake up early on Saturdays. Maybe not as early as if I'm going to work. But I woke up at about 8.30, quarter to 9. Because I had to go to the bank. So, I went to the bank. And then I came back. And then it was Sunday. I, I'm Really? Like, I don't know what happened. I did manage to take a little nap with um, you know who is right beside me on the side. But it wasn't a long one. Like sometimes I can take like three or four hour naps on Saturdays. But no, this was like an hour and a half. And it was from like 1.30 to quarter to three. But what happened to the rest of the afternoon? Okay, you know what? It's pointless asking because, but Saturdays seem to be doing that a lot lately. Like they don't last and then boom, it's Sunday and then I'm doing my laundry and then it's time to go to sleep and then the alarm wakes up and I have to do this all over again. Like for real. Okay. Here is a lip look that I thought I did eons ago because this is not a new lip gloss at all, but apparently I did not. I, I surprised myself when I realized that with as many lip glosses and as many lips of the days that I have done, you would think I have done everything. And here comes the surprise. Okay, I lined my lips with a Sephora lip pencil. This one is, doesn't have a name, but it's number 065. It's kind of like a mauve plum. 065 lined and filled is a MAC lip glass called Pop Mode. And I really could have sworn I did Pop Mode already, but apparently I did not. So this is Pop Mode. This is what Pop Mode looks like. I love the shade. It's, yeah, it's like a mauve plum sort of my lips for better kind of thing. And yes, as you can see, Nancy did, finally did the hair. It was time, people. It was time. It was overdue. I had the money. Okay, so on and so forth. Okay, this is... I don't know if you can see that. This is pop mode. It's kind of a sheer, but it has a little bit of shimmer in it. I love it. It's like a, a mauve plum. That's the, that's the best way I can describe it. It's called pop mode. And it is a MAC lip glass. And that, my friends, is Lips of the Day. Um, I have a little story. Nothing, nothing outrageous. But people, I, it's, not, it's not just OCD at my job. I think everybody is OCD at my job. Seriously. Like, for real, for real. But this, this pertains to OCD. So, sitting, minding my own business. And we all know that on... Mondays and Fridays, OCD works from 10 to 2. So she's very limited and she's got work to do and all of this. So, you know, she's only thinking about her, herself, and her. So when I do timesheets for two of the sales salespeople, well, the lawyers, salespeople, I'm thinking back in my radio station days, um, two of the lawyers, I do timesheets for. So I done one in no problem. And I was, I was, I had, no. Yeah, I had the second one to do, but I was in the middle of doing one of my, you know, those, that paperwork that I was, I was like two steps away from finishing it. So she comes to me and she goes, hi, what are you doing? I said, I'm doing this sheet for, no. She said, you have a timesheet. I said, yes, and I'm going to get to it. No, you're going to get to it now. I said, no, I'm not going to get to it now because I have two steps left before I finish this. Oh, okay, because, you know, I'm only here until 2 o'clock, and I really need every, and and, and the first, the, the, the beginning of the month, I'm a bitch. 
I said, well, yeah, you can take that attitude and be gone because I'm doing this. I'm finishing this up and I will get to the timesheet as soon as I'm done. Oh, okay. Okay. And then troll a lot off. She went, no, no, bitch. It's not all about you. This is her. She thinks that, you know, this is her. No, no, no. Maybe that's the way it worked with somebody else around, but I'm the new chick in town, okay? We're going to go by a little a little bit of my rules. I, 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 this Punch and Judy show and me being the punch, mm -mm. enough of that. Enough of that. Give me. If she had said, are you almost done with that? And I would have said yes, and then I'll get to the time sheets as soon as I'm done. That would have been okay. But you're going to come and attack me? No. Uh-uh, no. No is right. No is right. No, that's right. No, because I'm going to finish this up first, and then I will get to the timesheets, and then it'll be all about you. What? I... And then the mail came late today. I went to lunch at 1 o'clock. It still didn't come. But I come back from lunch, and it's like a swarm of bees attacking my desk. I got one of the big the big hoity-toity lawyers. I got OCD looking for checks, of course. So I, I came, I dropped my purse, and I put my coat in the closet. And I came, and I just sat at the chair, and I rolled the chair back, and I let them. Oh, we just wanted to help you with the mail. I said, mm-hmm, well, th thank you for the for the help. I'll just wait until you're done. If you really wanted to help me with the mail, you would have distributed it yourself. No, they just want to take what they want to take, what belongs to them, and to hell with everybody else. Now you can finish. After we messed it up for you, now you can finish and do whatever you need to do. Everybody got their mail when they got their mail. When it comes to mail now, I used to be all, <gasps> mm -mm. no, 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 no. Sometimes, sometimes people will come to me after I've, dis you know, I've, I've separated them and this goes to so-and-so, this goes to, sometimes people will come to me and, and they'll say, you done um, separating? I said, yeah. Oh, and then they'll say, I'll take so-and-so, so-and-so, and so, because they work near those people. So they're helping me out by distributing them. But when you come and attack the nicely neat pile that the mailman gave me and you come shuffling like a dog digging for a bone because you're looking for your own mail because it's, it's, it's all about you and that includes the big hoity-toity lawyer too i don't know what his deal is but he loves to get his own mail like if the mail just comes he'll stand there and i have to unwrap and i just give him the pile and then he'll just sort through it his own self I, I really, I don't understand. You're going to get the mail eventually. You will get your mail. I'm not that slow. I do give it to you before the end of the day. So what is the problem? Why is everybody disturbing me? I don't, I don't get it. It's just, it's a receptionist thing. Like, oh, she's just a receptionist. So, you know, let's just, and that, that goes for every job I've been, it goes for every receptionist. I'm almost convinced of it because you're the last person on the totem pole. They really don't give a crap about you, but they notice when you don't do your work. If you do your work, we can walk all over you. No, no problem. It's when you don't do your work. Oh, oh, then we notice. Then we notice you. So I just let them. I just sat back. I folded my arms. I sat back and I just said, I'll just wait until you're done. And Mr. Big Guy, he was trying to trying to be all, you know, he got jokes. Oh, well, you know, we're just trying to help you out. Oh, really? I said, mm-hmm, thank you. And in my head, I'm thinking, if you really wanted to help me, you would have taken that entire pile, you would have taken it to your office, you would have distributed your own damn self. That's really helping me. Because I do have other things to do aside from just the mail. I've got other things waiting for me. But you go right ahead, and I'll let OCD take care of all her checks that she had to go pick up. As it turns out, she missed one. So I had to give it. I said, you missed one when I was done. I said, here. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. You sure did. In your attack of the mail, you missed one. You happened to miss one. It is what it is, people. It is what it is. You have to pick and choose your battles. But I'm learning. I'm learning to not be walked over. 
not be walked over. And as for supervisor, yeah, she was doing her back and forth. She must have um, had a happy weekend because she was singing and humming all day long and just happy clapping her hands. I was like, oh, oh wow, must have been some weekend. I say nothing. Not my business, not my problem, not my issue. But she started to do the whole back and forth thing, like checking to see if I was taking, I took care of the dishes. I took care of the dishwasher. The kitchen was clean. What else are you checking on? It is what it is, people. I don't know if I'll ever love this job. I do love the 15th and the 31st. Yes, those dates in every month. I love those dates in every month. But the actual job, I... It, 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 it keeps me afloat. Let's just put it that way. It keeps me afloat. I can't really say that I will ever love the job. I like it. You know, I like it. It's, it's a job. It's better than being unemployed. I'm grateful for it. But... I think this is one of those jobs where I can actually say, I'm never really going to say I love my job. Mm. The other job, I used to say I love my job certain times, certain times, like snow days and stuff like that. Here in, hey, I can't complain about the snow days that we had here. Because, yeah, I love my job when I don't have to go to work and still get paid for it. And snow days do that. But I don't think we're going to be having snow days anymore since we are in the month of April now. April 3rd, people. April 3rd. So I think this is the month on the 23rd that I'm officially going to start getting benefits. And that lovely check that I'm used to will be deducted again soon. We'll see how much my check really becomes after the deductions of medical, dental, vision, and all of that. It's fun while it lasted. But we shall see. Okay, well, that's it. That's all. I know this is short and sweet and to the point, but that's that's really all there is. Oh, wait a minute. Hold up. Sit down. Uh, Real Housewives of the Potomac started yesterday. And um, apparently, uh, two of them have an issue with, with each other. Of course, I forget their names. That one and the other one, I don't know. If anybody's watching uh, Real Housewives of the Potomac, then y'all know what I'm talking about. I don't know. Because you said something, and I'm not a whore, and, and, but I'm not either. And why are you? I, just trifling stuff. Trifling, idiotic stupidity. These, these women are supposed to be grown, and they're supposed to have all the money in the world. Well, some of them do, not all of them. Some like to pretend they do, but it's not really the case. I, I don't, and I think this week, if I'm not mistaken, I think it's this week, uh, Real Housewives of New York City. Oh, you know, I can't wait to. That one, I know their names. The Potomac one, I still, hmm, I'm still iffy on the names. But the Real Housewives of New York, we got Bethany, we got uh, Sonia, we got uh, Lucinda, uh, Dorinda, I keep calling her Lucinda, Luann, um, am I missing anybody? I think there's going to be a new chick. There's going to be a new chick in, in either, I think it's New York City. There's going to be some new chick in town. So there's a new one coming in. And I don't know, I think this week is... The reunion for Beverly Hills, Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. So we'll see what's going on with that. In the meantime, my grim finished on Friday. Very sad. Never to be seen again. There's another show that's going to take its place, but it's kind of like grim, but the, the it's a little more horrific, like more in the horror genre. I can't really put, say Grimm was in the horror genre, although maybe it was, but I could deal with that one. I saw the upcoming one. Mm, no can do. I like to sleep at night, and this one might give me nightmares, so I'm going to skip that one altogether. 
And on that note, um, I'm going to uh, cut this one short. It's as short as I can cut it. Um, <laughs> you know, I, was, I wasn't going to say anything, but I have to. I have to. Friday's video. Friday's video. I think it was Friday's video. Somebody left a comment. I effing hate your videos. Now, you know, I couldn't let that pass. I'm like, bitch, why are you watching them then? What's, what's the problem? Why? I said, I said that. I wrote that back and I said, like, you know, now you can go play on a highway or somewhere. Get up off me. You hate my videos, but you watching them. So, and she didn't say, or it didn't say, I don't know what it is. Um, it didn't say, I hate this video. She said, I hate your videos. So why are you watching them? You hate them so much. Why are you watching them? In any event, you know what? Trifling, trifling people. Trifling. They, they really make me laugh. They really like, bitch, why are you watching them then? Just to say that you hate them? Don't you have anything better to do? <sighs> Whatever. In any event. Now it's time to go. I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm tired of the weekends just being a blink of an eye and they're gone and then I have to do this again. And I did not. Purposefully this time. I did not get my um, Cash for Life or Win for Life tickets. I was too tired, people. Because I have to go around out of the job and then go to the place where I picked the tickets up, get out of the van, get out of the van, the Jeep. And and I just was, I just wanted to just go home. You know that feeling when you just want to, you don't want to do anything else, but just get home. That's all I wanted to do. So Thursday is another day. All right. I love you. I love my YouTube family. Hit me up. Let me know what you think. Cause I really like this lip look. And I really thought I had done a lip look on it before, but apparently not. Mac Pop Mode Lip Glass. Love it. Love it ever so. Let me know what you think. And I will talk to you tomorrow. Okay? I love you. Bye now.